11 Businesses Won't Recover After Coronavirus Hey guys, looking at the news, it seems the coronavirus has infected the fabric of our economy, creating a second pandemic across companies worldwide, one whose symptom is financial ruins, leading to inevitable closures and bankruptcies. Just as patients need respirators to survive the infection, companies that are forced to close their doors during the stay-at-home orders need government aid if they are to make it through. However, for the most vulnerable 11 businesses we'll see in today's video, any government aid will either be too little or too late, and they're sure to disappear before we manage to control the outbreak. Join us while we explore which businesses and industries will not survive the COVID-19 pandemic. You'll both be shocked and surprised at some of the businesses on the list, some of which you will surely miss. But first, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell for upcoming videos. Number 1. The End of Department Stores the first one on the list has had it rough for quite some time, and particularly the last couple of months. The retail industry has seen a strong shift towards e-commerce in the last couple of years, giving a strong blow to some traditional retail giants. But the COVID-19 pandemic has been kicking them while they're down. While everyone is confined to their homes, online shopping is now the only real option, so those retail giants who didn't get on the bandwagon early are now suffering the consequences. We're already seeing huge retail stores like Neiman Marcus, JCPenney, and Stage filing for bankruptcy while the end of lockdown measures is nowhere in sight. Will the same happen to giants like Walmart and Macy's? Keep watching to see what other devastating surprises are on the way. Number 2. Cruise Operators When we think of coronavirus and cruise ships, two words come to mind. Ruby Princess. The pleasure cruise liner with more positive COVID-19 cases than many countries. A cruise ship is like a petri dish for a spreading virus, which is why ships around the world will likely be anchored in port for a long time. And time is the problem. While the big three in the industry, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and Norwegian Cruise, have a good bit of cash saved up, the money won't last forever. As they sit out the pandemic, they will have burned out their savings by between July and October. Even if lockdown measures are relaxed, it's not likely that cruise ships will be allowed to sail anytime soon, or that people will be keen on risking a couple of weeks confined on a ship full of unknown strangers. Number 3. Private Investigators Yes, and it makes a lot of sense if we think about it. With lockdown measures in place, wouldn't you notice a single car suddenly parked in front of your house every day? Or the same shady guy following you around every time you take your dog out for a walk? The lockdown doesn't only affect a detective's ability to do surveillance, but also question people of interest because reading their body language is a big part of the interview. That's something he can't do over the phone or a video conference. Having been unable to do their job, most private detectives will likely turn to other means of income, leaving the industry to go dry in the sun. Number 4. Pet Sitters Just like many other small industries, pet sitters have also suffered the effect of coronavirus and are unlikely to recover. Why? Because with the shift in economy and people finding more stay-at-home jobs, they won't need someone to take care of their pets anymore. Whether pets will be happy or annoyed depends on the owner and the pet, but pet sitters will be out of the picture come the year's end. Number 5. Co-working Space Operators We know how COVID-19 is especially dangerous for people with pre-existing conditions like asthma. Well, it turns out the pre-existing condition is also particularly dangerous for vulnerable businesses that were already struggling before the pandemic. Co-working space operators have been hit hard because everyone has taken meetings virtual with the likes of Zoom, Slack, and Google Meet. But none have been hit harder than the already battered WeWork, which was already spiraling down financially before January 2020. Coronavirus was the straw that broke the camel's back. If we consider that WeWork alone represents 70% of all co-working shares, if it folds, it'll be as if the entire industry folds. Things will get even more shocking from now on. The disappearance of these next six industries will mean less entertainment, information, and wellness for you and your loved ones. Can you guess what they are? Let's continue to find out. 
Number six, the newspaper industry. In a shutdown economy, no one pays for ads, which is the main source of revenue for nearly all newspapers around the world. As a matter of fact, in some cases, the entire operation of a newspaper is held afloat with car dealers advertising and political campaigns alone, neither of which is working right now. Many papers have gone bankrupt already, and many more are borderline turning off the lights. Will they recover in the future? It's anyone's guess. Number 7. Amusement Parks Companies like Disneyland and Six Flags have felt the chokehold of the pandemic, but they have good enough savings and a diversified income to withstand having their parks closed for long periods of time. However, smaller parks will most certainly close for good. As non-essential industries, it will be very hard to recover their business in a post-coronavirus world that is struggling with a massive international recession. Number 8. The Airlines Industry did you know that even though airlines manage to earn insane amounts of money, they actually work on a very tight profit margin? This makes them very vulnerable to economic crises because they don't have a lot of room to maneuver. Things are even worse for smaller airlines, which barely make ends meet in normal conditions. With all planes grounded and no cash flowing in, dozens of these airlines are already on the brink of bankruptcy and many others, like the second oldest airline in the world, Avianza, are already flat on the ground on oxygen support. Analysts predict a wave of mergers where the big fish eat the little fish, and the big consolidated companies could also collapse. However, as one of the essential industries that powers world commerce and supply chains, it's probable that governments around the world will pitch in with massive stimulus bills in order to keep their national flag carriers in the air. Perhaps we won't see the airlines industry completely disappearing, but it certainly won't recover to what it used to be before the pandemic. Most airlines will be flying a smaller network of cities and operating on a reduced capacity between airports in the foreseeable future. Now for our last three businesses on the list. Number 9. Cable TV It's no secret that video streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime have seen a boom the last couple of months that few could have predicted. While that means more money for Bezos and his friends, it also means less profits for traditional cable TV operators. This was bound to happen sooner or later as the Internet of Things permeates every aspect of our lives. But it's amazing how the pandemic accelerated this transition in only a couple of months. Number 10. Gyms and Fitness Centers It's not that coronavirus produces laziness. On the contrary, people have been keeping busy at home, and exercising is one of the top ways to do so. So why would that mean fewer gyms in the future? It's because of a new trend that originated from the quarantine. Online home exercising classes. A company called Peloton has made it wildly popular and has encouraged many to buy their own home equipment to get fit and stay that way. The problem is that after the pandemic, people will probably want to keep on using their new $3,000 spinners and treadmills instead of going to a gym to breathe in other people's diseases and take home other people's germs and sweat from publicly shared equipment. The last item on our list hits us close to the heart not only for our love of the seventh art and the thrill of worldwide premieres, but also because of all the industries listed here, it is the one least likely to recover at all. Number 11. Movie Theaters and the Entertainment Industry You may love streaming services like Netflix, but let's face it, nothing beats the experience of going to the movies immersing ourselves in a Steven Spielberg storyline played out on the giant silver screen, blasting their dynamic surround systems and giving us the three-hour Hollywood glamour and glitzy so full of life. However, in all probability, movie theaters won't be around much longer after the coronavirus outbreak. With a combination of health and safety concerns, increasing debt, mounting operating expenses, and a huge drop in attendance even after stay-at-home orders are lifted, most movie theaters will have already gone broke while the rest are left with empty auditoriums and dark screens. People simply aren't going to flock to the movie theaters in the coming months, if ever again. Add a film industry that won't get its revenue from the box office, and we will have Hollywood's destruction in the making. That's it for our list of 11 businesses that won't recover after coronavirus. We hope you've enjoyed the ride. 
Do you think that there are other businesses that won't make it past COVID-19? Share in the comments down below, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.